Hi, this is Colleen. Um, I'm here to show you a project I made for the Artsy Addicts, sponsored by Marion at PieceOfCraft.com. And basically, our challenge this month is to make a mini or scrapbook page all in white, everything white. And this was very challenging, and I'm really pleased with how it turned out, so I thought I would share it with you. Um, the first thing um, I did is this is a kid's... Uh, board book a little girl a little kids board book I got a yard sale and basically what I did is I colored it or painted it with gesso um, all over uh, I sanded it then covered it with gesso and the gesso is kind of goopy and thick so I you know I think the next time I'm going to try a different technique but it did it did work out okay and on the cover um, this is my cat Rupert and this is who I put on there because he is white. So I was real pleased. So he goes with the whole white theme. And I covered the front of the book with this felt. And this is like a really stiff felt. It's not that floppy felt. So I think it, it's just easier to work with. So I cut that out, glued it on. And these over here are pop dots that I got by Ranger that I picked up over at Tuesday mornings and all I did was leave the you know sticker on it didn't peel it off and here in the corner what I did is I made a shaker box um, which I purchased um, well someone else purchased I got it at a yard sale um, but basically it, it's a piece of foam you fill it with your embellishments add the acetate add another piece of foam lower and you got a shaker box it's pretty cool and I painted the cats their cat buttons I cut off the backs and painted them in white and there's a cat a mouse and some fish bones and then as you can see the little tag there it, I had this in my stash and I just covered it with some uh, glitter dimensional fabric paint and of course I put the king and you see Rupert has his crown and we call him King Rupert. And um, he's the male, so, you know, he's the dominant here. And the crown comes from a Heidi Swap. And um, this is uh, the stickers I use. I use, I'm showing you these because it's back with black and it's easier to see. And right here on the cover, I use this cute little handle, which I painted white. And... Scraps of mine had showed this in one of her hauls um, a long time ago, and she got a Hobby Lobby, and they come in a bag with these little tiny handles, so they're totally cute. And I just painted it white and put it on. And also, on the edges of all my pages, I covered it with this, also with the glitter uh, dimensional paint. On the first page, here's Mr. Rupee. And he is sitting on some angel wings, and I thought it was totally cute, so I cut him out. And he sit, he's just so photogenic, so he's sitting there in his funny position, and, and uh, it worked out perfect. And here he is with his angel wings. And on this page, I used a piece of vellum, and I edged it with the dimensional glue. I added the Heidi Swamp sticker, and then just glued the zipper on it and then have my tags in there for journaling later and then I ran this through with the Tim Holtz uh, die to get the uh, texture and what I want to do for this album to make the white interesting is to have as many textures as I could come up with to make the white not just be boring and on the side I added these little clips I think they're making memory clips and some little fibers I found a white safety clip in my stash, and I ran these tags through the Cuddle Bug by Tim Holtz, and this is the king, because he's King Rupee. On this page, you see him uh, sitting there, and I put some dew drops all around them here, and then underneath, you'll see here, I use some of these uh, thickers, sorry, and these are thickers and this puffy thickers, and that's what I use on the bottom here. And then I covered it with 
um, some uh, or, uh, organza or whatever this stuff is. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, then on this page, um, here he is again, sleeping, and I put his little wings. Those are the Heidi Swan stickers. And on the background, I used cheesecloth this time for another texture. And this is a clay that I rolled out, and I stamped it with a stamp, and then I put some uh, rub on and the white over top of it. Um, I learned this technique from Jade at Jaded Studios. And then there's a little metal embellishment, and I just covered it with paint. And then again, the clip and the tag. And on this page, here he is laying down. He's always Mr. Photogenic. And I laid uh, this fur, a little fur piece of, uh, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of like Santa Claus fur that would be on his coat. And I laid him on top of it for another texture. And then I used the words chill out because he's a really uh, relaxed cat. So, oops, sorry about that. And I used thickers again on the sides for the letters chill out. And that's what they look like. And on this page, he was got into a package I received that had the little peanuts in it. And it was funny because there's static electricity. It's stuck all over to his fur, all over his back. And he had, and I took a picture of him laying there with the peanuts stuck to him. And um, I could ran it through. Um, uh, that oh, I can't think of the name. Well, I ran it through to give us the texture. Uh, I can't think of the name of it. Oh well. Anyway, uh, there's and I put some more of the thickers the puffy thickers and just a little bit of rick rack and um he's eight years old and um and in the year but i thought that was a really cute page i apologize for not remembering it's like a crimper or something it's an old tool and then another clip more fibers and another tag and this picture it is in white this is rupert and he was a couple months old but it's printed out on paper and my kids took pictures of me as a little uh, kitten, and I cannot find the photos saved off. So I had to cut it out on paper. And I, that's why he looks like he's not white, but he is. And I have him sitting on a, a Tim Holtz grunge board uh, there with the R. And I put a little tiny picture of Ruby. That's when he was a kitten, and he fit in my hand. And over here... I have 2002, that's when he was born. And as you can see here, the little hearts, I learned this from What what You Make It, where she took the Heidi Swap uh, clear heart thing, and she took the puffy paint, and she just, and you just lay it along the edge of this, and that's how it turns out. It's really cool. And then I added some buttons, and that was it. Oh, and then I also used more of this material I got over at Joann's. And this is what I covered it with. Again, trying to give it more texture. And on this page, I used a CD paper uh, that you put your CDs in. And inside, I put a paper doily and then Rupert on top. And on the corners, I have his crowns because he's King Rupee. And in another clip. And on this page, I took some bubble wrap and I painted the back of it white. So, and put it on here. Another picture of Rupee and a picture of, and this is some puffy thickers here. And over here is a chipboard cat. And uh, a Sizzix die. It's an old die. And I covered it with the enamel accents. And then on this page is Rupert sitting here sleeping a giant this way looks like now. And they're totally cute. And I used the thickers and some buttons. And on the back, I covered it with felt again and some of the dimensional glue. And I this is what I did with the clay. Stamp my stamps into the clay. And here's some pictures of Rupert's head with the crown. And it's his birthday. I have happy birthday. And I thought I'd share this little album with you. 
And also, my daughter's kind enough to bring this over. This is what I use to make the creases in the page. And I can't remember what this is called. But I know you all seen it. Anyway, thank you for watching. And if anyone has any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.